Well, hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another look at Professional Farmer. This is, of course, their American Dream game. Now, I have uh, skipped past the tutorial. Well, okay, I forgot to save it and I didn't want to do it again. So, we are in an actual game now, and as you can see, with an actual game running, we have actual traffic. <laughs> <laughs> and quite a lot of it, quite frankly. But, I thought what we'd do today, I've just plowed up that field. Now, I've purchased the field beside us. And the first thing I'd like to do... Let's jump out here. Is coming over to this field. Let's open up uh, our maps here. Oops. I could have just simply pressed the map. And let's go to our fields, shall we? Now, I own all three of the local fields here. I purchased all of them. I mean, they're really, really, really inexpensive. So, I thought what we'd do... Now, I've plowed the one in the middle. This guy here, all right, it says the following services are available. So I thought we'd check this out. I'm going to get this guy to plow the second field. So, let's... uh. I mean, for $52. Come on. Let's order that up. Now, a thing to remember is you don't actually need to have the equipment to have a hired worker do this. They come with their own kit. Which, for 52 bucks, hey, let's do this thing. All right. And it will be completed by March 2nd. Interesting. Hmm. All right, let's go back to our game. So, at some point, we should uh, see this get done. Now, it is only March the 1st right now. It's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But I thought what we'd do today, rather than actually carry on with any farming, is uh, go and take a little tour of the map. So, I'm not going to use the tractor to do that, however, because we do have another vehicle. Oh, the traffic coming. Apparently that little blue pickup in the yard is a functional object. Oh, turn sharp, thank you. <laughs> so I have noticed a couple of issues with the game since I've started, which I have reported. Uh, we had the little issue with the slurry tank yesterday. Another thing I've noticed is that you get all those fancy field measurements. Unfortunately, they are rather hideously inaccurate. Um, I didn't really pay that much attention during the tutorial, as that's common during tutorials of that nature, that they go, you know, you're done 80%. We'll call it good, right? And away you go on to the next thing. Um... go and let's just yump out good but uh, I actually when I finished plowing that field or actually when it said I was finished plowing I still had three rows left <laughs> geez from a distance it doesn't look like I know how to do a straight line there's my doggy I'm a little worried about him yeah <laughs> he just sort of stands there and bobs his head but he will come running up to you at the most unexpected times. It was kind of creepy. But anyway, um, yeah, I was left with three rows down the center. Now that's, see what I mean? Like you don't notice it, but he kind of follows you around with that I'm showing you all my teeth look. Yeah. Um, it left three rows down the center. Now I'm going to assume that that being a three meter plow that means there was nine meters or well better than 25 feet left that's not great that's not great at all so let's take a little trip here let's look at our map and okay if we go down the hill and swingy a left we should be heading into town. Let's 
So, let's see what happens. Well, good thing is, it does go faster than the tractor. <laughs> now, this is something they've carried over from their old series. I wasn't really a fan of it then. Um, but at least they have made some improvements. Now, what's going to happen here is when we hit this bridge, it's basically a loading screen into the next map. Um, rather than load the entire thing at once, they just load the actual section you're in. See? What I absolutely disliked about this the last time is they had the fuel consumption so screwed up that it would take you, you know, half a tank to get here. It would take you half a tank to get back. So the first thing you'd have to do, if you made it all the way back to your farm, was refill your tank, right? So it was... Uh, Kind of annoying. Did I go the right way? Mm hmm? Where am I? No, I'm not there. Oh, I'm in farmland east. Okay. Uh, yeah, we kind of went the wrong way. Oh well, let's do a loop. So we got some fairly major fields out here. A lot bigger than what we had on the other side. And I think the deal is, is you can separately buy each farm. I mean, I gotta admit, it's a fairly lifelike place. That's a good start. Oh, what do the signs say? What do we got here? Farm, biogas, farmland west, and a mill. Oh, well, okay. I'm definitely gonna go have a look at the BGA. A lot of fields here. We've only got those, uh, I think there's four little fields on the beginner map. Alright, well I assume this is the Baga. Can we actually... Oh, there we go. Oh, car, go away. Tell you what, I'll go away. Make life easier for you. And, wow, were we ever holding up a line of traffic? Okay. Of course, we are in a different part now. So, is this going to open up and let me in, or what? Hmm. Well, this might not be the BGA. This ooh, we got a truck behind us. I do like this little truck, actually. Let's jump inside and see what we get, shall we? Oh, not bad. Uh, well, that's uh, really disappointing. The gauges don't work. Hmm. Ah, I think this is the actual biogas plant ahead of us. Seeing as it has a symbol on the map to denote it as such. So, what do we got here? Biogas drive. Well, there's nothing that says BGA like biogas drive. And this... Alright, well that's where we would dump our slurry. Grass, canola, and corn. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 and it gives you, come on. Oh, right. The brake is the space bar. I keep hitting the S and it just keeps cruising till it comes to a stop and then it starts to go backwards. All right, up on the ramp, here we go. So grass 210 a ton, canola 390 a ton, and corn 150. Huh, okay. Oh, I like the Jeep. All righty. So, that's our baga. And I believe I can get back out through here. Yes, I can. Now, let's see what it says. Town is that way. Farmland west in the mill. Well, I think we'll... I do kind of want to get into town, so... Let's pull out here. Down. 
Yeah, I went uh, ooh, it'll do 180 degrees out of where I should have gone. <laughs> that is so typical for me. Wow, that is uh, quite the monstrous silo thing or whatever the heck that is up there, eh? Hmm. Of course, the day is also ticking by here. It is almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon now. Alright, so what is this sign going to tell us? Is this the way to town? Whoa, dude, nice stop. It is. Okay. At least they have a... Oh, that was a Porsche. At least they have a variance in vehicles. <laughs> Here we go. Now, does cruise control work on this? Yep, there we are. Ah, and you can actually see... The little green dial that just showed up on my speedo? That would be the cruise control. Okay. Interesting. Now, I think... She's come to a quick stop here. I want to go to my map for a moment. And go to the wee little field. And yeah, we'll have that done as well. Alrighty. Let's go back out of that. And continue the game. Alright. Apparently that little point thing goes up for anything you do. I just noticed it went from 395 to 396. You can create and delete profiles for several players. That's basically your save games. You create a new profile for each save game. So, not uncommon. Alright, here we are. We are in town. And I think I will... Uh, oop, that's the locked camera. There we go. That's the one that I can have a little better look a boot here. Alrighty, so... Ooh, I see a machine sitting over there. <laughs> here we have... The meat market. Yeehaw! Meat market. Alright. And... See what happens here. Okay, this is the butcher, so we can sell our animals here. Now this looks like a machine shop, eh? Good. I kind of wanted to come here. Jump out. Alright, the vehicle dealer stocks all the machine and cult equipment you will need for your work. Alrighty. Ooh. We have a leopard forest harvester. Or forage harvester. <laughs> forage harvester, yeah. Yeah, for harvesting forests. Um... Okay, a different tractor here, a little Lindner, oh, it's actually a name brand too, it has Lindner written on it, Flegel, well, so it looks like they do get themselves a couple of licenses going on here, interesting, hmm, so let's have a look here, shall we, machines, Okay. 
So, how does one actually... Oh, here we go. E, open the shop. I'm sorry. It's right underneath my uh, frame counter. All right, so tractors. A John Deere? Holy, a tractor. John Deere B. All right, Eurotrack F42. So we could go old school here if we wanted to. 40 horse. Very neat. Oh, there we got the one with the roof. Cab. Eurotrack F50. Then we've got a 60 horse. There's our tractor, the N35 Veltra, or Vistra, sorry. Okay. We've got a 150. Nice. 4.9, four cylinder, 135 horse. To give you some good information. Nice to see that. Uh, we can move up to the 165. We, there's the little Linder. Geo track. Nice tractor. 100 horse. We've got a bigger Linder. An even bigger one. Ooh, then we get into the Rhino CT. Well, we all know what that guy is. I have the 3500 on my other map. <laughs> all right. This one doesn't give you a horsepower. Ooh, they get bigger. With over 500 horse. Yeah, no doubt. 144,000. That would take most of our money. All right, so that's tractors. Uh, a chipper. Okay, that would be our uh, forage harvester. Not cheap, way beyond our range, obviously. We've got the Terrapin. We own one of those. Ooh, 55k, wow. And we've got a 644 harvester. Okay. Trailers. There's a flat deck for bales. A tanker. Oh, a water trailer. A slurry trailer. We've got a, well, cramp, a big body, a milk trailer, a Klaus cargo, very cool, silage trailer, a Flegel DK-180, all right, and then for actual equipment, we've got the Jewel 5 plow, a Vistra plow, wow, a big DG-8, we've got the little Amazon Senyas Grubber. A bigger grubber. A big grubber. Alright, the little D9. We got the D60 Super. There's our sprayers. That's something we're going to need. We have a front tank for it. Front mower. Nice. Rear mowers. A baler. The cutter. Uh, corn cutter, forage cutter, oh, a front fork for the Vistra 35, oh cool, that's for the tractor we own, a two rotor tether, oh, a pumpkin plow, hmm. <laughs> for being harvested, the pumpkins have to be arranged into rows, interesting. Yeah, there's pumpkins in this game. Here we go. This is the pumpkin seed harvester. Hmm. And then we get back to plows. Interesting. So that apparently is our equipment list, at least up to now. I think that's really neat that they have some of these older stuff in here. You know, that's a pretty good price, too. Yeah, not bad. I mean, for 10k, you can get yourself a little 40-horse tractor. Of course, you'd run into problems, because I think you need more than a 40-horse to pull the smallest plow. <laughs> but anyway, cool. That is the vehicle yard. What else have we got here? Some sort of big factory. Well, we can see the different spots here. They're all marked clearly upon the map. This, oh, where we sell our milk. Okay, cool. That's fair enough. And across town. 
Well, hello, funny looking fella. What do we got here? Oh, some sort of a market. Well, that's one way to sit on the bench, dear. Weird girl. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Everybody's short here. I feel good about things. <laughs> All right, produce. Eggs, wool, and milk. Okay. And apparently Easter eggs are a thing. <laughs> All righty, what else we got? Well, we know that. We've already been there. That's the butcher. Here's our petrol shop where we can gas up. She's just wandering around. La la la, looking at my fingernails, they're fascinating. All right. That's okay, I've actually seen people do that, so it's not like that isn't realistic. And this, uh, we can buy our seed and sell our harvest. Oh, we can also purchase insecticides and fungicides to combat pests. Let's open it up and have a look. Oh, yeah. So here's all of the different seed available. Wheat, barley, rye, canola, corn, grass. Okay. So not a ton of crops. And then we get fungicide, insecticide, slurry, bale, sunflower, and pumpkin. Okay. So all in all, eight crap, craps, <laughs> eight crops, uh, uh, or we can sell directly from our silo. However, we have nothing. So we are going to have to actually buy some. Now, let's say... Just for the heck of it, I bought wheat. Um, a hundred, okay, seventeen bucks a hundred kilo, eh? Hmm. So, let's say we wanted to buy that. Okay, buy. So now, do I have that in my silo? Wheat. Yes, 1100. So there's the extra thousand, because we've got a thousand of each in stock. Cool. I know that was probably a little bit of a waste of uh, money, but we want to see how that works, and that apparently is how. So that appears to be everything that's in town. Oof. That's not a pretty cloud coming in. Some really dark stuff going on there, man. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, not bad. And then there are two other farms as well. So, whoops. Uh, what I would like to find. Farmland East Biogas. Ah, cattle dealer. That's what we're looking for. Well, but, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tourist standing here in the middle of town. I just need to get across the road here, folks. Thanks. Alrighty. It is. Oof. We're going to have night drop down on our heads here if we're not careful. So, let's go get our truck. Oh, look at the Volkswagen. Ah, right on. It's nice to see. I mean, the last one that they had, I think we had uh, one type of vehicle on the road. And it would be the same white pickup truck driving back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> I mean, here we've got some variety going on. Oh, you ran the stop sign, man. You're not supposed to run stop signs, dude. Okay, now. Uh, do, 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 farm West and all of that. So, where was the sign that told me where I wanted to go? Do, 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 do. Here we go. So, uh, cattle dealer says he's that way. So, let's go see if we can find ourselves a cattle dealer. I get a feeling it's going to transfer us to the other map. Ooh, it's starting to get dark, eh? Uh, is it L? It is. There we are. Oh, apparently our rear running lights aren't actually working. 
Now, I do believe that the cattle dealer's right here. Cattle drive, indeed. Alright. Moo, 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 moo. Moo, 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 moo. Oh, oh, I see other things besides cattles. Yes, I do. Hmm. Not sure what the other uh, light does on this one, but there you go. Alrighty, let's uh, have a look. Okay, cows, chickens, pigs, and sheep. Alright, so nothing terribly fancy there. Let's have a look at the actual critters. So we have golden chickens and white chickens. Interesting. Uh, okay. Kind of looks like they're all white-eared chickens. So white eggs. And what do we got here is our piggies. Hello to piggies. Eh, not bad, not bad. Pretty good little pig animations. They're definitely smaller pigs than what we've got in FS, aren't they? Those ones are just scary. Now, you're not cows, chickens, pigs, or sheep, are you? You look more like goats to me. Well, here's sheep. Oh, you're a fine-looking group of woolly crunchies, but you need some food, don't you? And over here... Well, we've got ducks. Interesting. What we call puddle ducks. Alright. Cool. So, with that said, let's uh, dive into it here. Okay, so yeah. Look at this. There's far more than just what they said. Because you do, in fact, have goats and ducks. So, ducks. Hmm. 95 bucks a duck. That's a lot of money for a duck. Of course, $390 is not a lot of money for a cow. Chickens, pigs, sheep. Very nice. Goats and ducks. Huh. Awesome. Well, we will certainly get into some animal husbandry here at some point. But I think for now, I'm going to head back to the farm. So, I'm going to put some lights on. <laughs> we got some sheep and a couple of goats in the yard outside. Very cool. So we have brake lights, but we have no backup lights. That's probably fairly typical of a small farm truck, actually. When you get right down to it, I mean, it's like, oh, I'll get around to fixing those one of these days. You know, I got more important tractor in to do. All right, I think we can beat this guy out here, so let's go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And once again, through the magic teleportation tunnel. I would have been just as happy if he could have simply driven straight across. But again, I understand that, you know, rather than burden the engine with that, wow. Did you watch this? Watch how quick this speedo collides, man. This is like a 10 second truck, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, it tops out at 50. Well, 45, so. <laughs> it's like one second from zero to 45, but then that's it. So. Make a great 20th of a mile drag truck. <laughs> Alrighty, so. This is again that other farm. And I like how they refer to our farm as just farm. The others actually have farm west, farm east, blah 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 blah. Like we're currently in farmland east. Whereas even this, the road sign there just said the farm. <laughs> So they haven't got the keyboard driving quite, quite as smooth as farms, but 
uh, pretty sure. Let's just have a quick look here, shall we? I'm just gonna grab my 360 controller. Well, there you go. Handles perfectly fine with a controller. In fact, a little nicer. And that's really cool because uh, as soon as I hit the controller key, you'll we'll notice that the uh, the function buttons and stuff all change to that to match. See, camera, all of those things, very neat. And with the lights on, the dash lights come on as well. But unfortunately, as we don't actually have. A functional tack or a speedo, it doesn't really matter that the dash lights are on, I guess. Although they're great for some ambience. There we go. And let's turn our lights off. That's high beams apparently, that's off. And we can exit the vehicle. Very nice. So controllers work natively and instantly. And we can switch back and forth at a moment's notice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for our little tour de force of the map. We will see. Oh, that was just telling me that we could do the blah, blah, blahs there. Hello, dear. What a good kitty. Funny looking freaky dog. Okay. Uh, beep, beep, beep. Vehicle wash, 15 bucks, buck a gallon. Okay. Hmm. So, that, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for a quick look at the farm. Next time around, we'll uh, see what's going on with our hired workers and the job that they do or do not do. So, hope you all enjoyed the episode. And uh, let me know down in the comments below. What else you'd like to see? Till next time, though. Ooh. Rye. Canola. All right, well, let's you know immediately what all the silos are. Perfect. All right, folks. Take care of each other. Ciao for now.